Um, I would have to say Joji is, uh, I don't know, just MacGyver up in this bitch. No, that's not, that's, um, you know, just, I, I like, uh, does everything, you know, all mediums, doesn't really matter. Um, whatever, whatever he feels like putting out, he's gonna put out. Yeah. Whatever he feels like not putting out, he's not gonna put out. Uh, likes to be funny, it's okay to be goofy, but it's okay to be, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to be serious too. Just, you know, exception of, of all things, I suppose. If that, if that makes sense, that might be kind of lame, but <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. My sound, uh, the sounds are very like, like conflicting. Um, you know, I like, I like very soft, like pretty melodies, but then like the really hard hitting, uh, you know, beats and stuff. So I like to mix the two together and it kind of makes something like really weird. I like the sound of nostalgia, you know, like there, there's certain sounds and like melodies that are like nostalgic and like that's like one of the easiest ways to like really pull on the, the heartstrings of people. So it's like, in a way it's like manipulation, but it's, 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 uh, that's, that's kind of what the sound would be like, yeah. Mm. Where do I fit in the realm of hip hop and R and B? Uh, definitely, like as a producer, uh, you know, making making beats for rappers and stuff. Like that's that's always fun. I enjoy that the most, just being in a studio and like really like cranking them out with like rappers. Um, so in that sense, like I definitely have like uh, a, a good foot in hip hop. And then because uh, you know I sing and the sound is like you know I'd say it's like a weird. R and B. I don't know. What is that? Does that make sense? Like yeah. a, it's like a really weird fence. Yeah. Like I don't even know if the fence exists anymore. Like, <laughs> I just don't rap. That's for sure. Yeah. It was definitely in the club by Fifty Cent. Yeah. I think I was in like, I would have been in like fifth grade or something. Like really young, and that shit came on, and I was like. This is cool. Yeah. Found me in the club, and I was just like singing that, and I didn't even know what the lyrics meant because like my English wasn't even that good at the time, but I was all about it. I mean, you know, I just I was, I was doing I was doing funny music, funny stuff at the beginning, you know, and then, you know, it started started rising on on YouTube and like other stuff, and then, you know, uh, people people were telling me to make the jump. Uh, but yeah, I mean the, the YouTube stuff was all right. It was it was just like like I was chilling, yeah. you know. It wasn't very challenging. Really? Yeah, which is which is like a, a good reason why, like an another reason why, you know. I was like, I kind of hopped out of there. Right. But you know, yeah, it was it was it was fun. Uh, I mean, don't do it for the money, because then you're just gonna keep trying to top each other and like do right. dumb shit. <laughs> like just you know, I'd probably stick to like actual like art, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Dope. Uh, like in, in Asia, Asia, uh, the Asia music scene is, is uh, it depends on the country too. Like I know in Japan, um, CDs still sell like crazy. Like they're one of the only countries where CDs still sell. Um, they're definitely like, um, they're now they're getting more and more uh, in sync with uh, the Western sound. I know this when uh, we were on tour in Asia and one of our DJs dropped Gummo. And this was in, in, in Thailand, mm -hmm. like just like most of the crowd was just Thai, but yeah. they, they knew all the lyrics, really? including the N-word, which was kind of <laughs> questionable, but um, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I just, you know, the boys can, boys can be, boys can be, uh, you know, kind of, not femme, but like, you know, like, you know, boys can be boys, you know, and, and uh, you know, it's okay to be conflicted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. The the eighty eight the eighty eight gang is is super dope. You know, we all we all like it's it's you know we it's not like we work for them like we work with them. You know, like they're very open and stuff. Like we, you know, we we'll, we'll go out to like dinner together and stuff and like we'll just talk about stuff. It's really like it's it's actually got like a you know most people will say like oh like it's got such a family vibe but like there's like actually like a a, a, a connected like understanding between all of us and we we can freely like just transfer information right. super cool yeah I don't know I think I I learned to be funny when uh, I wasn't really good at anything else I realized that I at a, I realized that at a young age so you know I just learned to be funny <laughs> a normal day in the life I, I wake up I will spend a couple hours on just like making beats 
and then uh, um, I watch I watch a lot of a lot of Family Guy. Um, I like to have it like on mute, like in the back, just like while I'm like doing shit. Other than that, like I'm working on other uh, business ventures and stuff, like non music related or music related, it doesn't matter. Just like, yeah, I can't, if I sit still too long, I'm like, mm -hmm. Cra I, well, I don't wanna say crazy as can, cause that'll, that'll, that'll encourage them. Uh -huh. um, I don't know, what was a good one, I mean. Yeah, the, I mean like the good ones are, you know, just like, I'm like, if I was at like a, a bar or something and, you know, like just really, really cool guys, you know, or like, you know, the people come up to me and they're like, hey, like, you know, let me buy you a drink. Like you, you made us, like you, you, you did all this, like it's super cool. It's just like, thank you, man. Like, it's just very, very genuine. Like the, the best experiences are definitely like the most normal, yeah. like, you know, it's just like, Hey, like, have a drink, yeah. or like, hey, good job, yeah. you know. So I like that. Played artist on my phone. Uh, damn, I don't know. Okay, right now, like, I'm always blasting uh, this uh, this guy on SoundCloud named DJ Young Vamp, mm -hmm. and he he's literally like he looks like a vampire, and he's mm -hmm. from. Uh, Probably where the vamp Transylvania like that that area like some he's from like one of those like no I mean he's from Berlin I'm not sure same thing it's all Europe or whatever but um yeah he he just flips um, modern like trap songs and like kind of gives it like an old like an old timey jazzy trap yeah. and like just flips all these songs and you can just play his songs like it's just like super nice so I just have that playing on my phone all the time it no dude it's still my dream collab to work with Keith Keith Ape who is on my fucking label right. but he will not respond at all <laughs> I'm like sending him beats sending him this and that like yo Keith what do you think about this what do you think about this he doesn't respond and then I see him I see him like uh, in person I'm like yo Keith like did you get the shit I sent? he's like what like oh and then everything's like and then like he didn't even see it like so I'm trying to collab with with one of the guys on my label who who, who even the label has a hard time getting in touch with That's so crazy. I'd say Keith is is my my dream collab just because he's like such a white whale you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. gotta grab that what's up guys I'm Joji and I know